So Android 13 is just around the corner with the public facing beta set to arrive in the coming weeks. We have already had the opportunity to test drive the developer previews, but that hasn't stopped us from dreaming up a wish list of things that we'd love to see later this year. So let's dive in. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Material U has been a fairly divisive change that is the very backbone of Android 12 on Pixel phones. It does remove certain customization elements that had become staples of AOSP builds in favor of a more system driven tuning, all based upon your system wallpaper choice. Sure, third party launchers can still provide the added customization options that have been dumped in Android 12 and Android 12 L. However, there are areas that still remain off limits unless you do choose to root your pixel. Google should restore the ability to do things like change your icon shape, font, and even the status bar icon style in Android 13, as far as we're concerned. That's just a tip of the iceberg though, as we're sure more options would very much be appreciated by fans out there. If the wallpaper and style section just restored a few of these popular features or allowed material you to be disabled, if you wish, I think that would be a really big design decision. It's very debatable if the move from a capacitive fingerprint scanner to an in-display optical scanner has really been a wise design choice on the Pixel 6 series. Troubles aside though, early hints ahead of the Pixel 6 series launch had us hoping for some form of software-based face unlock. All evidence of this has been scrubbed from the public facing promotional materials, but we'd really like to see Google add the option in Android 13. As it stands, it really literally only means that the Pixel 4 and 4 XL are actually able to access hands-free secure unlocking. Sure, software-based face unlock isn't quite as secure as hardware-based scanners would be. However, it would be great to at least have the option in Android 13 for those who maybe don't want to use the fingerprint scanner. QuickTap has been a great new addition to Android 12, but while it offers you the ability to quickly open or launch some of your favorite apps and services, it could be seen as a little lack in an overall utility to some out there. In Android 13, we love to see greater options to customize and control our Android devices with that back tap gesture. So we really do hope that Google will open that up to more in future. Developer Preview 1 does let you now turn on the flashlight or torch using Quick Tap, but it would be great to fully customize this gesture to your heart's content. We're thinking of things like being able to maybe directly open that new QR code scanner or even being able to disable Wi-Fi or mobile data with just a tap, but that is just the tip of the iceberg. Not only that though, it would be great to be able to set gestures based upon how many times you've actually tapped the back of your phone. For example, double tap enables the flashlight for instance, or a triple tap activates do not disturb mode. We think the possibilities could be endless and it would really be great to see just a few further controls with this awesome new feature. The rules setting within Android acts very much as a basic automation feature and we think it's often overlooked or even lesser known to most people out there. This uses simple if this then that commands, allowing you to activate do not disturb mode, set your phone to silent, set your phone to vibrate, or even set your phone to ring. That's about the limits of what you can do right now uh, with rules in Android 12, but to do anything extra, you will need to use a third party service like Task or even MacroDroid. While they're great in their own right, it would just be nice to get a few extra options Maybe like activating the assistant driving mode when connecting to a certain Bluetooth device or even disabling certain features at a time or place based upon location or Wi-Fi network. We're certainly not asking for in-depth controls, just a few more options beyond those four that we've just mentioned. The At A Glance widget definitely feels like it's taking over within the Pixel launcher and becoming the one-stop shop for all of your kind of At A Glance information, but it would be nice if Google just copied iOS and even One UI in Android 13 by offering the ability to just stack widgets on top of one another. There's no real utility benefit here. It just makes organizing your home screen so much easier. Having one widget to rule them all is just a nice option to have if you want a simple one screen setup. There's the added bonus of better functions than the barely, fairly basic at a glance widget here too. It's hard to argue that Android 12 added some annoyances to the notification shade, especially with those quick settings tiles. In terms of utility, things have definitely, or at least as far as we're concerned, taken a backward step. It would just be great in Android 13 if we were able to adjust or at least alter the layout and size of these quick settings toggles, much like you can adjust the rows and columns of your home screen. We think it will be one of the biggest changes that people will be out there looking for. Of course, Android multitasking feels very different from device to device and OS to OS. 
If you try something like Color OS, Oxygen OS, One UI, or even MIUI, there is a thing called floating window support. This technically means that with the split screen mode enabled, you can actually run three apps concurrently on one screen. For some reason though, AOSP builds of Android lack this feature, and with screens getting larger and larger each and every year, it would be a nice extra feature for people wanting to get more done. Of course, Android 12L was supposed to tackle larger form factors, such as tablets and foldables, but Google really hasn't done much to improve the multitasking experience beyond improving the positioning of some UI elements. At least give us the option on Pixel phones rather than simply omit it altogether, as OEMs out there, other OEMs other than Google, clearly think the feature is popular and it's been around for some time now, so we'd really like to see this in Android 13. So if you were unaware, it appears that in Android 12, grand plans were hatched for the lock screen, but sadly, they were shelved or axed in favour of what are pretty basic aesthetic changes to the clock and maybe some of that icon layout. The screenshots of what could have been with an appearance that kind of takes the Pixel Stand's new UI and adds even more controls and contextual information is one that we really love to see developed a bit further. This proposed design had suggestion chips providing smart context-based options like media suggestions when connected to headphones, directions when at a specific transit location or venue, or even loyalty cards when in a store. Even though this was leaked, it would be awesome to see Google develop this further and enhance the lock screen beyond the home controls and Google Pay shortcuts that are already available in Android 12. So if you can't remember our original Android 12 wish list, we actually saw Google add a number of our requests, but not everything was implemented. We're still holding out hope though that Android 13 might add some of the following options here too, like the ability to export live captions. Of course, we all know live captions are cool for accessibility, but they haven't changed all too drastically since Android 10. After the past couple of years of exponential Zoom, Meet and Duo video conference call usage, we think it would be really neat to be able to export out live captions to a Google Doc or even a text file for usage later on, which is a great way to save time taking notes. On top of that, we would love to see widgets in the Discover feed. So imagine a hybrid of the OnePlus Shelf feature and the iOS's widget draw and the new centric Google Discover feed. That is what we have in mind and we think it could be a great place to place your widgets on the leftmost home screen on eligible devices out there. Even just as an optional extra, it would at least break up that pure newsfeed element and maybe make sense to people for whom home screen widgets can clutter up what would be a minimal setup on their smartphone. Plus it adds a little extra utility if you don't often spend time in Discover. We also really wanna see the removal of the pin confirmation step, or at least have the option to remove that on Pixel phones. And we think this is because it slows down that unlocking process by requiring an extra button press if you don't use biometrics. We think it's about time Google removed that silly requirement of pressing the enter key once you have correctly tapped out your pin code, or at least give us the option like it is available on Samsung phones. Of course, it's worth noting that some third party skins out there already have a ton of these features baked in. That said, we would love to know what you'd like to see come in the AOSP or Pixel builds of Android 13. Just looking at the weight of that Android 12 release again, it is gonna to be tough for Google to follow up such a massive mobile OS overhaul. A major point of contention though has been the overall Android 12 update stability on certain phones, and of course, the speed at which they're rolling out to devices. So while that specific point hasn't actually made our wish list or shortlist, we do hope that Google can fix the OTA rollout timelines and ensure that bugs are kept to a minimal this year with Android 13. With any luck though, we will be running or you will be out there running the upcoming Android 13 beta in the next few weeks. And that's gonna be based upon Google's official current timeline. We wanna know though, what are your own wishlist choices and what you wanna see in Android 13? Let us know down in the comment section below. But as always, until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.